getting a ton of rain right now in Southern California. It's supposed to rain for like the next four or five days, but it's miserable out here. There's water everywhere, clouds in the sky, there's no sunshine. I'm gonna head down to Hobby Lobby right now, pick up some art supplies, and this is gonna be a rainy day vlog by Sean Enox. I don't know if you're in the frame or not, but yeah, this is gonna be the rainy day art vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> You know, living out here in California, I've gotten really soft to the weather. Like it never rains out here, it's always sunny, but then when it does rain, I get bummed out. And it's weird, because considering where I lived in Sydney, it rained like almost every week, you know? And like big rain too, like it rains here for a little bit on and off, and then it usually dries up. But I think we're gonna get like a bunch of rain this weekend, all Christmas weekend. So there should be a bunch of snow up on the mountain. I seen a snow skate in Zoomies. It was an ambition snow skate. It was like, how much was it? 130 bucks, I think. Really keen to try that out. So let me know if you guys want to see me have a crack at snow skating. I'm actually really keen to try it. I've never done it before. So yeah, let me know. Um, could I get two brandy hot chocolates with uh, oat milk? Two brandy hot chocolates with oat milk. Did you still have the whipped cream on them? Um, no, on both of them. Pulling into Starbucks right now, get some hot chocolate because it's cold. And I want a warm drink because it's cold. It's cold. You guys back east are probably laughing at me saying that it's cold in California during winter. They have, uh, they have places for uh, people. Oh, we're going to get hit by Jose in the Civic. Like every Everyone's, sorry, is red curves outside of Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to be fast here today. I just need blue ballpoint pens. Just need blue ballpoint pens and some paper. That's all I need. Just out here in Hobby Lobby, guys, about to select some paper for this this art piece, artwork I'm about to make. Which paper do I get? This one? Just drawing? Some drawing paper? A bit of drawing paper? How about that one? This one feels good. It's like textured, but not as textured as the watercolor paper. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna trust my gut and go with the mixed media. I'm trying to go for like a prison style art thing. So I just need normal ballpoint pens because these are way too fancy to use. They just use like those blue pens in, in prison. Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby didn't have any blue ballpoint pens. So we're going to Target now. Look at it, it looks like I live in Portland right now. Cause look at the weather, it's terrible. Rainy, it's cold. It's not really windy, thank God. But yeah, it's rainy and miserable. I'm getting rained on right now. We've secured the big pens. Uh, there's a dollar ninety dollars, dollar ninety dollars, dollar ninety each. I'm getting two packs just in case. I want that blue, that prison blue, Pelican Bay blue. Um, I'm at home right now watching Magnum PI. Got my big pens, got my paper. I'm gonna start drawing. I think I'm gonna do like a rose to start off with. I could probably do this like super clean and detailed if I wanted to go through the whole process, but I'm just gonna try and sketch it and then make it a final product on the same piece of paper. Cause what I would usually do at work, like I would treat this like a tattoo stencil. Like I would do a rough sketch on paper, take a photo of it on my iPad, create the final outline on Procreate in my iPad and then print it out so I have the outline to work off. But I'm just gonna try and sketch and then finish it on the paper. So it should be pretty interesting. Just to give you guys an update, I was trying to get a rose done. I thought I could shade with a blue pen and it turned out like rubbish. So yeah, I'm still figuring out this blue pen technique. Ruby seems very interested in what I'm talking about right now. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do a skull next and try to make it nice because this looks terrible. I don't have the patience, honestly. Like, I think you gotta go section by section to get it to work well. Um, and I've just tried to go through it and sketch everything in. This is like way more slower than tattooing. I feel like I can tattoo way faster than I can draw, if that makes any sense. But yeah. I'm gonna try to draw something else. I'm gonna try to get a skull going, like a semi-realism type skull. Fingers crossed anyway. Before I go any further on this sketch, this is just the roughest guts. 
sketch of a skull I'm trying to figure out. Um, I'm going to keep chipping away at it and I'm going to keep you guys updated. Yeah, because uh, the first sketch turned out so terrible, so yeah. Fingers crossed this one goes a lot better. Guys, this is the best you're going to get out of me on a freehand loose ballpoint pen sketch. There's ways I could make this look super clean and tidy, but that whole process is another story, you know? And it would be traditionally based on how I would design stuff for tattooing. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I can make like a way more polished off, better looking drawing than this. But this is like proper like freehand prison style, even though it looks like rubbish. But yeah. All right. So for the people wondering what I mean by like proper polished off sketch design, whatever you want to call it. Here's an example right here. I had a dream one night of a idea of a frog doing a backsmith. So I went to work the next day. It was quiet and I designed this artwork here. <laughs> I designed this artwork. What I did was I did a sketch, then I did a final outline, then I used a light box to trace on the final outline onto this bit of paper, then I had a solid outline to work with. I knew where everything needed to go, and it turned out pretty decent for what it is. A little frog or toad doing a backsmith. I did this other one here. It is Joshua Tree. There's like a cow skull and some rocks and a little cactus here and then the moon some mountains and a joshua tree same thing again same thing with this one i haven't finished this one yet but this is a this is actually a design by sailor jerry swallows he was tattooing out of canada um we have the flash up at the shop and i took this design i just put some chains and yeah so this is what i mean by like polished off sketch artwork design thing as opposed to just a freehand thing like this, or even worse, like this. So that's what I mean. These are like proper outlined pieces that you use a light box to trace the final design onto a piece of paper, then go from there. This is just like freehand rubbish. <laughs> so I was reading some of your guys' comments and someone asked for an update on the YZ125. Everything's here, like everything's in this box ready to go in, apart from the engine. The engine's at the mechanics. We're trying to chase a fork shifter number three for a 2000 YZ125. They don't make that part anymore, so it's been extremely difficult to find this shift fork. But I kind of cleaned up this um, this gold series the other day. It, was all, it had a bunch of gunk on it. I mean, it's not the best, but it looks a lot better than what it was before you know so yeah little by little chasing up this fork shifter it's been a pain in the ass but i'm so keen to just have this thing done and just uh go and rip it so yeah here's an update guys i have pretty much all the plastics here ready to chuck on ready to go but i'm just waiting until the engine comes back i gotta clean the carb as well so the carb needs to be cleaned 
and put back together. But yeah, there's a little update on the YZ125. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know. I just got a ring light for Christmas. So yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, let me know. If you want to see me do more art vlogs or art, art vlogs, let me know. If you're new here, subscribe. If you want to go on over to eveningmob.com and pick something up, there's free shipping within the US up until the new year. Just use the code LOWER48 when checking out and you'll get free shipping. We just got a ton of hoodies made. So yeah, go and check out eveningmob.com. Cheers for watching the video and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. On your way back, bring me his son. On, 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 on your way back, bring me his son. 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 On, 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 on your way back, bring me his son. On your way back.